we, we were treated like pop stars in Japan. Um, chased down the street by screaming girls, the whole cliche, the whole nine yards. I don't think I personally got screamed at. I think that the, Je the Japanese fan was cautious of me. I think Patrick received um, a sea of proposals and stuff like that. He was a matinee idol. We were chased down the road actually, out of the Virgin <clears throat> Megastore, definitely. Into an awaiting car. It was pretty uh, surreal. To a waiting people mover. Yeah. <laughs> so the girls chase you down the street and then they stop at the traffic lights. But they wait for the, uh, the green man to flash and then they mob you again, you know, all, all very organised. And they, they come charging up to you and they stop a foot away. So you feel as though you're just about to be mobbed and then they stop. Wonderful. Throw, they throw letters on the stage. And uh, then we heard that they had the highest teenage suicide rate. So we felt compelled to reply. So we weren't responsible for anything. <laughs> we went to a kind of uh, uh, a piazza sort of thing. And um, this thing just erupted out of the ground and, uh, and t t full of animatronics and intricate things that came out and in and birds and marching townsfolk and with flaming pitchforks and uh, just... <laughs> I'm embellishing slightly, but to our eyes it was that, and we just our chins were on the floor, and this is just such an amazing country, you know. A, that exists, and B, someone hasn't just kicked it in. <laughs> <laughs> to English eyes, it's a miracle, isn't it? The thing was, at the time, I was living in a, a one-bedroom flat, and I was driving a, a, a desperately <laughs> knackered Ford Escort van, and yet, a few thousand miles away, I'm being chased down the street. Um, and I, I didn't understand that. I sit there and wonder, you know, what is it you're looking at? What is it you've been told that I am? What do you think I am? The realisation dawned that this gang of girls out on the street underneath the window, they were there for us, you know. And we suddenly thought, oh, oh my God. <laughs> you know, they're like proper fans, you know. They're not, they're not kind of aged punk British punk rockers <laughs> they're actually proper as proper fans and the only bad thing about Japan was coming home really and uh, being immediately flattened by the kind of nothingness of being back in the UK with the band because we felt like you've really achieved something out there and you come back here and you go oh reality again you know reality check you, you're not the Beatles you're actually you know you're the, the I don't know the sandals Thank you.